Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. Now I'm going to take this tarot card here and then I'm going to get tarot cards to explain why this card has come out today. Now this is the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords is somebody who's had enough of something here and they feel, you know, is done. He's absolutely done. The thing about this, this is the disappointment's ending. It's the end of a disappointing cycle here and the sun will rise in the background. So there is a dawning of a new day and with a new day, there's new hope. So let's see why this has came forward. Spirit, please show us clearly why this card has came forward today, please. The Knight of Wands. The Five of Cups. The full card and we can see already why i can see how this is going the ace of cups overall central energy is the world card the six of wands the page of cups the hermit card this is virgo energy you could be dealing with a virgo or somebody with virgo, virgo in their chart the ten of swords twice the Ten of Swords twice. So there's disappointing energy around here. Now there's also upset and sadness. And I feel for some of you here that there's an unreliable person around you. And this is the unreliable person. It's somebody who can be very attractive and charismatic on the surface. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy or somebody with that in their chart. It could be somebody that's married. It could be somebody that you're drawn to time and time again, but it's upsetting because they're not giving you what you want. Now we need to look at this very carefully. This is only guidance. It is your choice. There is no judgment on this channel. It's somebody who is not going to give you what you need. They're letting you down. You're disappointed in this person time and time again. Now we can be drawn to people because we're drawn to the uh, this is not a, a specific sexual reading. You know, I'm not talking about, um, I don't, when I say he or she, it's not, but it could be somebody, we're always drawn to the same sort of type of person over and over again. Now, if you've got a set idea of what you consider somebody who's attractive to be, we need to look below the surface. Because beauty, the beauty of this person is only skin deep. That's what I'm wanting to say here. Okay, they can be very charismatic on the surface. They can be somebody who likes a lot of attention. They could be a flirt. Um, they could be somebody that likes to be the center of attention here. Um, but there's something with this person that's just upsetting you. And we need to look at that. We need to do a bit of soul searching. We need to think about where our happiness is going to lie in the long term sense. So you know, this person could apologise time and time again to you, but they're very immature and you keep giving in to them. They're very immature. Um, they will never mature. They like being who they are. They love it. They like being who they are and they like the lifestyle they have. They're not ready to change. They're not ready to change. There's somebody who could be coming in and out your life um, and not staying as well. There could be somebody who's not staying here. So we need to do some soul searching here. We need to think about our own happiness here. It could be somebody that's younger than you as well. We need to think about what our happiness, where our happiness lies. Now, you need to take yourself away in your own here. You're not going to do it around them. And it's not about listening to other people. We'll always have people, will always have their opinions about things. But this is the sort of soul searching you have to do on your own. You have to work this out for yourself and it can be very, very difficult. But you've gained enough knowledge in life or regards to this person. You will find the answers if you listen to your intuition and you take yourself away. But we need to end these disappointments, you see. Tens are endings. This needs to end, definitely. So this bottom row here is about soul searching with regards to your happiness and ending the disappointments that this person is bringing to you. 
And what Spirit's saying is we need to take that leap of faith. Trust yourself, your intuition and your ability to stand on your own two feet and go forward to start a brand new journey. And have brand new opportunities for happiness and love. Because you're not going to find it with this person. And when we're clinging to somebody that keeps coming in and out, you're blocking the energies for somebody more suitable to come forward. Because the universe wants you to have beautiful, happy times and have all the happiness that the universe has to offer you with regards to relationships. So it's going to be difficult. It's about doing the soul searching, leaving behind the disappointments and starting on a brand new journey from ground zero. And he travels lightly and he doesn't take his baggage with him. The overall central energy for this reading is brand new chapters. Successfully shutting out one chapter of your life and starting up another. And when you go through this portal, you don't look back. You do not look back. Don't be sucked in by people's apologies and people's shallowness and immaturity here. Because this is your life we're talking about. It's the stability of your life. It's your happiness we're talking about here. So you want to be starting this brand new chapter. And it's success that will come from it. Success to ch shut it down and success to take that leap of faith forward. Trust your intuition, intuition and the universe to support you with this brand new chapter. Because this reading is here because spirit is trying to help you to go forward. And when you leave this opportunity, uh, this situation behind and you take up a new chapter of your life, you go forward towards success and happiness and victory. And people are going to respect you for the decisions you've made here. People are going to applaud you. They're going to say, well done. Look at you. You're on a brand new path. You've put your challenges behind you and your disappointments behind you and you're riding forward there and you're going forward and you can only succeed. Sixes are success cards. You can only go forward to more success. So shutting this relationship down is definitely what Spirit is suggesting here. We all have freedom of choice. Nobody is passing judgment on you at all. Now, I was just going to say, <laughs> when you shut things down and you move on from challenges, what did I say? You make room for better balanced relationships to come forward. You're opening yourself up here. You're making room. I did say, if you cling to people that are unreliable and can't give you what you want, you're blocking the energies for new people to come forward. So this is somebody new. You'll get a new opportunity will come forward at some point. Somebody who's on a better wavelength, who sees life through your eyes because you've learned from your past experiences about love, about relationships, about the type of people that you want around you. You've learned about your boundaries. This person is on the same page as you. They want the same as you. They're prepared to work on it with you. They see life through your eyes. They've got the same standards as you. And the reason that this person is able to come in is because you're single again. You're successful. You're independent. You're standing on your own two feet. You're speaking up for yourself. You're creating beautiful things around you. You're feeling comfortable in your own skin. You're not in a relationship that's dragging you down or challenging. So you create beautiful harmony around you. And when you do that, this is a young empress, you become so attractive. People look at you and they can see, because this can be you coming into balance with your spiritual self and higher self as well here. This is you emotionally balancing yourself out. And through doing that, people, you become your confidence increases, your self-esteem will increase. And you will go forward to create beautiful friendships, lovers, have beautiful quality relationships in the future. And you become very attractive. And when people look at you, they know, remember, they know that you're being successful. And they know that you live a well-balanced life and you make good, well-balanced decisions for yourself. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.